Hey everyone, I've been tweeting a, a bunch about the 2015-2016 Westchester Knicks, you know, triangle analysis, and it was time I figured to make a long form, longer form video, excuse me, that's longer than, you know, the 2 minutes 20 seconds that you can in Twitter. I'll put my, you know, Twitter handle in case you don't have it in the description of the video. But I really want to talk about this possession here against the Erie Bayhawks, some cool wrinkles that were added uh, in this game uh, that I want to discuss. So instead of, you know, playing the clip and going over it, I'm just going to break it down, and then we'll, you know, watch it again in full. So here we have the triangles form where the wing pops out. But one important thing to notice right away is the foreman, where my mouse is. He is not in his, you know, pure, quote-unquote, pure positioning. Uh, usually he would be where the Erie Insurance logo is. You see where my mouse, then the ball is reversed, where he didn't go to the pinch post. So it's quickly looking at your reads. You see that the post entry is heavily denied. The wingman is the wing's defender. He's sunk down to pretty much to front the post, and the, the post has a defender right behind him. And even the corner defender as well is... Uh, angled inward to deny the post entry. So you have four guys in the two-point area and in the top of key defender, so the reverse defender, which is the second read. He's not denying it, so the reverse is going to be made. We can tell right then and there. However, that, you know, in, in the classic classical triangle, triangle, excuse me, it cues pinch post. However, there's no player to go to the pinch post because the four-man is going to stay free throw line extended. So what happens is pretty cool, where you're seeing a back screen is actually set and the wing player is actually going to go to the opposite block, and the five will then set a pin down for Jimmer Fredette, who was at the one. So what's cool about this, I'm going to pause it again right here, is we have two-thirds of a triangle form on the weak side. Now, obviously, we know the, the, top, of, the, the top of key player, two-man, is going to move as well. But if we, you know, technically, if Jimmer wanted to, you know, he could push, he could dribble push this five-man out to the corner. He could pass maybe to the, the wing here, then fill the corner. Uh, so we still have, you know, we're one slight movement away from the triangle being alive. Also, one thing I really liked is it took the defense by surprise because Jimmer was able to get really great separation as well with the big playing down, and you have one player in the key, so there's a man patrolling there. So Jimmer's able to get a pretty clean catch off the bounce pass, attack the rim. Now, he doesn't make it, but it's just a different wrinkle than what you normally see. And when we talk about you know, quote-unquote, the modern game and getting more three-point attempts, really, is what's really meant by the modern game, is how can we get more pick-and-rolls and or more three-point attempts? Well, here's a great way to do it. Same possession. You know, you're going to stick to the same action. You know, you could have the same wing player dive. This would be your four-man on the opposite block. Then you have the curl, you know, the, the curl off the pin down. So instead of this wing player staying static, this wing player in a more modern system would then slide down and go with Jimmer, keep the same plane of the drive where he'd end up in the corner, similar to how Jimmer gets to the rim, and then the top of key player would then go to the wing. Therefore, you have defenders sinking, matching the depth of the drive and having an available kick out for three. So here, I'm going to pause it right here. If Jimmer wasn't so focused on shooting the ball and in these clips of the season, Jimmer Fredette shoots a lot of ill-advised shots. You'll see right here, there's a threes open here at the wing and threes open at the uh, at the slot. But once again, in a more modern system, if you really wanted to emphasize, you know, especially a corner three, for example, a great way to do this would be to have the wing player, the free throw line extended player, once the drive commences off this pin down and the catch, to go with Jimmer, to match him on the perimeter, to slide down, slide down. You see he stops right here while Jimmer gathers. No, keep on going, keep on going. And he, and he watches Jimmer shoot. But there definitely was room for that free throw line extended player to go down near the corner and get an open shot. So, start from the top again. Just to go over and highlight and play it in full because I know I paused it a bunch. So the wing pops out. Triangle is formed quickly. The post is definitely denied. We know the second read then is the top of the key. Top of key is allowed. There's no pinch post. It's free throw line extended. So we, here we have a back screen. Then go to the opposite block, then a pin down, curl, bounce pass to Jimmer Fredette. Jimmer catches it. Not the best shot knowing he can wide open teammates, but once again, one of the strengths of the triangle is offensive rebounding and floor balance, and an offensive rebound is obtained. So, really cool wrinkle to where, you know, obviously the pure triangle is set up based on the entry, but once the reverse is made, there's a slight creative tweak to get a player off a pin down, off an off ball screen. Uh, and you saw definitely how there was several ways for the triangle to be reformed, whether it be from the dribble drive or be from the players relocating from the free throw line of the corner and then top of key to the wing. 
but also, you know, in the modern game, if you want to get more three-point attempts, uh, what you could do is just have your player on the free-throw line extended, for example, match the depth of the drive of the player with the ball. So, once again, man, I, gotta, I feel like I have to do this every time I uh, make a triangle content. You know, there's nothing wrong with the triangle offense. It can be adapted. It's just a format, and for the modern game, quote-unquote, if you want more three-point attempts, you just got to make it an effort in, into your system, but it's, it's totally doable. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this, and I uh, hope everyone is doing well.